We present multi-material mesh-based surface tracking, the first non-manifold triangle mesh tracking algorithm to simultaneously guarantee an intersection-free mesh and support the proposed broad set of multi-material topological operations. We represent the interface using a non-manifold triangle mesh decorated with material labels. We developed a set of collision-safe, label-aware operations to handle three key multi-material topological operations, T1 process, T2 process, and multi-material merging. In two dimensions, a T1 process transitions between two possible regular topologies in the vicinity of four distinct materials. An intermediate state occurs where the two triple junctions have merged into an irregular four-way junction due to an edge collapse. The underlying velocity field alone cannot resolve this irregular configuration back into a regular H-shaped configuration. Instead, this requires an explicit mechanism to divide the irregular vertex in two. Unlike in two dimensions, local topology around a 3D irregular vertex can be highly varied. To avoid complex special case handling, we show that all irregular configurations can be treated in a unified manner by iterating a single new vertex separation operation. We first represent the local mesh topology of a vertex with a region graph. The region graph is an undirected graph in which each node corresponds to a region incident on the vertex, and two nodes are joined by an arc if their corresponding regions share a triangle. A missing arc in the graph identifies a pair of regions that do not share a face. This indicates an irregular vertex. Our proposed vertex separation operation processes one pair of unconnected nodes in the region graph by separating the corresponding irregular vertex into two. The triangular gaps this creates may need to be filled if the materials on either side differ. A two-material pinching off is an example where the gaps do not need to be filled. If either new vertex remains irregular, vertex separation is simply repeated. This iterative process terminates when all missing graph arcs have been eliminated, which corresponds to all irregular vertices being resolved. The locality of vertex separation also allows it to be easily checked for collision safety. Our collision-safe vertex separation operation enables the handling of various complex topological changes in three dimensions, including the canonical T1 process illustrated here. A T2 process happens when a region shrinks until it disappears, such as in a convergent velocity field. Consider the green region in this mean curvature flow. In the discrete mesh, a T2 process takes place when mesh improvement collapses a tetrahedron-shaped region. This produces a degenerate zero-volume region between two coincident triangles. Removing one or both triangles, depending on their labels, eliminates the degeneracy and completes the process. We test these foam-like topology changes with mean curvature flow on a random 2,000-cell Voronoi subdivision of a cube, which leads to many T1 and T2 processes. To better illustrate this process, we select 60 individual regions from the same example and render them in isolation. Many of the regions immediately undergo T2 processes and disappear. Multi-material merging happens when surfaces come close to each other. In this example, two spheres of different materials expand and collide under outward normal flow, creating a separating interface shown in red. After some time, the direction of normal flow is reversed, causing the spheres to seamlessly pinch off and disappear. We illustrate the generality of this approach by applying it to a larger example with 25 spheres of varying size, where colors indicate different materials. Notice that when two regions of the same material collide, they merge into a single region with no separating interface. We can also apply normal flow to detailed irregular geometries, such as these two expanding Stanford bunnies. We perform a complex normal flow test suggested by Say and Sethian. Two overlapping spheres sharing a planar internal interface undergo normal flow at unit speed, with each material propagating into its neighbor under a cyclical ordering. This yields an elaborate curled geometry. It is possible to implement multi-material merging by extending the local zippering-based two-material approach. However, this involves relatively large edits that more strongly perturb the mesh and are more likely to induce collisions. We propose a new merging strategy based on snapping together nearby vertex pairs from the approaching surfaces. Since existing vertex pairs rarely collide in ideal alignment, we locally subdivide the approaching surfaces to induce compatible mesh connectivities. This creates well-aligned vertex pairings that can be easily snapped together. In the supplementary material, we also describe our extension of common remeshing operations to the case of collision-aware non-manifold triangle meshes. In a separate technical report, we describe the results of a series of preliminary convergence studies showing first-order convergence. Rotation and translation of a low-resolution multi-material notched disk, known as the Zalisac disk, illustrates preservation of sharp features and volume under rigid body motion. 
We divide a sphere into four distinct material regions and apply the complex deforming velocity field of the Enright test. Extreme stretching fails to tear apart the thin multi-layered sheet that develops. To generate a complex flow with numerous merging events, we alternate steps of curl noise and normal flow applied to four spheres of different materials. We repeat the animation with transparent rendering to show interior detail. New internal interfaces are colored in white. This example embeds an initial multi-material mesh in a single-phase fluid flow with strong swirling forces applied, illustrating the robustness of the method. Our algorithm may also be applied to multi-phase liquid simulation. In this example, two droplets with strong surface tension and different material labels collide, merge, and separate again in zero gravity. Next, we demonstrate a three-droplet variation of this scenario. The outer blue droplets have the same material label and are therefore able to merge through the interior of the central droplet. Lastly, we simulate dropping several viscous bunnies into a pile. Thank you.